today we are going to talking about 22 things to do before the year ends so let's get right straight into it if the first thing is analyze the year that is about to end like make a thorough analysis the things i had to do was i able to do them the goals i set for myself was i able to accomplish them if i accomplish them what helped me to accomplish them if i did not accomplish them what did i do that drifted me away from my goal instead of propelling me towards my goal so it's very important to analyze the year that's about to end such that we will not make the same mistakes that we made set goals for the year that is about to start it's very important to have things that you actually want to achieve set the goals tell yourself okay this is what i have to achieve write all of them down make sure that it is written on paper such that you know that getting to the new year these are the things that i have to do it helps you to go into the year not just like that but actually having a plan of action this is where i'm heading to and so all the actions i'm going to be carrying out has to be geared actually towards those things that you've set as the goals for the new year make a vision board i feel like vision boards are actually very very important why because they help you to visualize uh -oh. Vision boards are very, very important because they help you to actually visualize the goals and the objectives that you want to attain. So it means that you should have a vision board for the year that is about to start. And you actually, I don't know, print out the pictures. I don't know, everybody has their way of making their vision boards. You can actually check out videos on YouTube as to how to make a vision board. But you should have at least a pictorial representation of the goal that you want to achieve such that maybe you can paste your vision board in your room and every morning that you wake up you look at it it actually helps you to remember okay this is what i want to do this is what i want to achieve and it helps you to actually go forward to do those things that you want to do and achieve the goals that you want to achieve because it's in your mind if you don't have constant reminder about what you want to do what you want to achieve you might end up forgetting and you will not work towards that goal but when you have a vision board it helps you to visualize it Analyze your financial habits and set out to actually drop off those things that are not helping you to manage your finances well. Because one thing is that finances are very, very important. And if you don't manage your finances well, you realize that the things that you even had to do, you have not done them. But the useless things, you have spent all of your money on those useless things. So analyze your financial habits now, such that stepping into the new year, you're going to know the things that actually brought you back and you resolve now to doing things better than you did the previous year. Guys, I hope that we are jotting things down because these are actually very, very important points. I equally am going to be implementing them. And I really think that it's important for each and every one of us to implement them. Like if you're watching this, it's important for you to implement this before going into the new year because it's going to help you to start the new year strong and while we are at it can we give a shout out to our proud sponsor our sponsor of this video pam beleza as you can see my makeup is glowing yes my makeup was done by pam beleza we need to link down her instagram in the description box if you want to look pen you should do well to click the link dm her and i mean arrange whatever you have to arrange with her so you can see they are making you know so contact them contact her for your makeup and you will not be disappointed like you can see they are making declutter reorganize your stuff and make sure to give away the things that you don't need anymore the things that you're not using anymore because every year we have a build-up of things. We have things. I mean, you realize that you don't have space to pack your stuff. Why? Because you're still keeping things that you don't need. But you're not actually taking out the time to reorganize your stuff and take out those things that you don't need so you can create more space for yourself. So it's very important to do decluttering. Remove those things that you don't need and <sighs> breathe air. <sighs> Start a new routine. Be morning routine night routine i feel like when you wake up in the morning with a clear routine that you have to follow it actually helps you to flow into your day with so much organization 
Like you always know that when I wake up in the morning, I have to do this, 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 this. Because most times, when there's no routine that we follow, we end up just doing anyhow, and you realize that your day has really gone, when you have never achieved anything that you had to achieve for the day. I'm actually trying right now to follow a certain routine that I have set for myself. Start exercising. Nobody ever said that exercise was only for people that want to lose weight. Exercise is equally for you to be able to keep fit so if you exercise every day i mean you're going to be healthy so start exercising me i mean if you have been part of this family you remember that i did a video actually on the 30 day sports challenge i did and after that i was so slack about the sports then i'm all about the exercising then i'm actually starting i'm trying to get back on my feet and actually be serious about exercising because it's not just to lose weight it's equally for you to keep fit and when you wake up in the morning and start the exercise it actually gives you the energy to go in and i mean do what you have to do during the day Take out your time to research on the things that pulled you back the things that actually did not help you but instead took you in a negative direction so in fact in general be it with um friendships be in relationships be in your relationship with god everything any possible thing that actually brought you back instead of you propelling your head try to take out some time and do that research such that you resolve to not do those same things again because the essence of all of this is that you start a new year with actually a new way of doing things and that new way that's going to help you to do better during the new year developing a new habit like there are definitely things that you really always wanted to do you're very interested in but you don't know how to do them like i think that now is the time that you can set out to learning that thing like skills are always needed like there's nothing that goes for nothing there's no waste you don't waste your time to learn anything anything that you learn is going to help you in one way or another so that thing that you've always wanted to learn i don't know is this swimming is it like take out time now actually start learning it you can actually visit a place that you've never visited before i mean you must not break your bank to visit a new place it might just be a place around that you have never gone to you can take out i mean like take some alone time and just visit that place and just enjoy your time with yourself buy a planner for the new year if you are not somebody that plans i think that it's important for you to start planning why do i talk about planning because when you don't plan you end up not realizing the things that you actually said you were going to realize because it does not only my does not it's not only important for you to be like okay i've written all the goals i want to achieve but if you actually have a plan that's going to help you to achieve those goals no so you should I, I believe that everybody should own a planner get a new planner for the new year that is coming and resolve in fact write down first of all those goals that you actually want to achieve for the year and then break them down into the way the plans that you're going to actually have to um carry out for you to be able to achieve those goals and then resolve to plan every single day plan out your activities how you're going to carry out them planning is very 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 important guys make sure that you are planning if you're not yet doing that make sure that you start planning so buy a planner visit your parents if you are not staying with your parents i believe that it's important i actually feel like it's important to visit your parents if you guys are not staying in the same house i mean show some love those are the people that brought you to this earth don't end the year without seeing them spread some love visit them spend some time with them laugh everything every possible thing go out if you can even go for vacation it's going to be good just spend some time with those people that you love and those people that you're really grateful for talking about being grateful show gratitude show gratitude to everybody everybody around you be it at your job site in school whatever wherever show gratitude be actually grateful because we will not get to the level where we are in life if not for the people around us we might never know particularly how a particular person contributed to us getting to where we got to Birds, we need to be grateful for everybody around us because everybody around us in one way or another whether we have realized it or not has contributed to us being where we are no matter how small the contribution is so resolve to showing gratitude to everybody around us whether or not you know them personally or you have a close relationship with them show gratitude check on your health 
make sure that you are healthy especially if you're somebody that is actually like you fall sick often then you should actually do a checkup as to where your health is at and what you need to continue doing so if you're not somebody that does that constantly i believe that you have to check on your health because you never know sometimes we're sitting and we're never even fine but we don't know that we're fine because we hardly go for checkup we don't have that attitude or that habit of always checking our health so check your health make sure that you are paying before the year starts do a digital cleanup digital cleanup as in clean up your phone the application that you're not using again delete them your emails you can clear your new boxes i don't know your whatsapp whatever like just just clean up just declutter just remove this thing that you don't need again maybe you can go to your gallery with all the photos that you don't need again delete them because there are some of those things that are in our phones that take up space space that we need and then the things are in our phones that we don't need them to do a digital cleanup just remove all of those things on your phone that you really don't need anymore i already spoke about this when i was talking about buying a planner but it's important to plan every single day it actually helps you more like it helps you to realize your objectives better than if you don't plan because when you don't plan you don't remember i've always had this experience of forgetting to do things because i did not plan them i did not write them down so it's important like not just planning up or bed write them down such that you always have something to refer back to and to be sure that okay this thing that i said i was going to do that can i do it if you have not yet done it okay let me do it now if not because i don't know but who has ever had this experience of you wanted to do something like you really remember that you had to do it you did not write it anywhere but it was in your head and then at the end of the day you're like oh i forgot to do this thing i've had this experience if you have had this experience comment down below and then resolve to start planning because it's going to help you take yourself out treat yourself this goes in line with um, visiting a new place like take yourself out spend some alone time enjoy your own company and in fact start learning how to enjoy your own company because you must not always have somebody around you to feel happy or to feel fulfilled like start enjoying your own company so take yourself out go out have a chill time somewhere and <sighs> Congratulate yourself for how far you have come. Like, you know, we realize that where we are now is not where we were at the beginning of the year. So it's important to even give your own self a pat on the back and like congratulations. Like actually give yourself a pat on the back because you have been able to do what you have done now. Like you're definitely or probably not there where you want to be. But at least you're not where you started. So you actually need to give yourself the accolades for having gotten this far like where you are and then resolving to doing better resolving to getting better congratulate yourself put a smile on your own face by yourself with everything i have said if you're not disciplined you're not even going to be able to even carry out all of these things so be disciplined resolve to actually doing the things that you say you're going to do don't say you're going to do things and at the end of the day you're going to them yes being disciplined is not easy but it's a habit that all of us have to cultivate because if you're not disciplined <sighs> it's not really going to be easy so resolve to discipline resolve, discipline yourself to actually even carry out all of these things above all thank god because there are people that wanted to equally to the new year that have not seen the new year so if you're actually here right now and you're still praying because the new year has not come yet like these are things i have to do before the new year but if you have even got right up to this point give thanks to god give thanks to god for everything that you have achieved give thanks to god for everything that you have lost because if you have lost something it was not for nothing everything works according to his plan so be grateful to god thank him for everything that he has done for you and equally Pray to him to give us, let us pray to him to give us the strength to actually go into the new year with this discipline attitude of carrying out all of the things that we still are going to carry out. So give thanks to God. Let go. As a new year is coming, let us let go of all of these things that are pulling us behind. Let us actually accept that those things that we really wanted were not actually meant for us. We didn't want ever to make. And then resolve to actually let go of those things. Because when we keep on, if we keep on holding up to things that are not for us, those things are only going to pull us back. 
let us actually resolve to letting go of those things that are not going to benefit us and look ahead look at our objectives that we are yet to achieve and work on them and let go of every possible thing that can be pulling us behind resolve any issues that you have with anybody don't go into the new year with grudges don't hold somebody in your heart like before the year starts before the new year starts if you're having any issues with anybody go and meet the person if the person is not humble enough you should be the humble person so go and meet the person and resolve whatever issues so that you should start the year on a clean slate don't take the wahala of the previous years the new year no resolve every issue that you have and then start the year fresh start the year on a new and clean slate so guys, this are 22 things that you should do before the year ends. I hope that you have been able to get some value from this video. And I even hope that there are some things here that you are already doing. And resolve to start doing the other things. We are all on this journey of striving and trying to be better. So if I'm coming to share with you guys, because I equally have to do these things. So I'm telling you to also start implementing these things so that we are all going to grow together and we are going to be happier and we are going to be much much more i don't know but like i said do it thank you guys so much for watching right up to this point and our next video is going to be on how to level up in your 20s without money this is equally going to be a very very interesting topic so make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and come back next time thank you so much for watching the video right up to this point thank you thank you so much make sure to drop a comment down below which of these things are you really doing which of them are you going to resolve to start doing and i really hope that you should actually even resolve to start doing all of them see you guys on the next video